I'm hoping to get like a wild travel story with you guys. Uh, you're out in the Midwest or West or whatever, whatever you call that. And but I guess it was pretty routine. You got left at six thirty and got in Syracuse in plenty of time. Yeah, I, I guess uh, I guess fifteen, but it was uh, it all went smoothly. Um, left at around flew out, flew out around six fifty, got into Chicago and then connected right away to go to Syracuse and then just. Got a ride to the to the rink and hung out there till till game time. Just not a lot of sleep, though. Yeah, just not a lot of sleep, especially uh, having a game the night before, and then uh, you know a little bit later of a night than I would have lo- would have uh, liked to have had, and then uh, being up early at four o'clock or so is kind of tough. You know, it's for a in the pro hockey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you don't want to see anybody get hurt, but. Uh... Scott looks like he's going to be out for a while. I mean, do you look like it's an opportunity now to uh, show what you can do in the AHL for an extended period? Yeah, I, I, you know, I think it's a very good opportunity for both me and uh, Mackenzie. But very unfortunate what happened to Scott. You know, obviously, you don't want to see a guy go down. Um, but I think it's a good opportunity for myself. Just you know, if I get into some games, try to uh, try to play as good as I can and get get the wins for the guys. You. Uh, you feel pretty confident at your ability at the AHL level. You played enough games last year that you feel you feel like you can uh, do this for an extended period. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I got in. Uh, it was good to, that I got in a game earlier on against Binghamton, and I felt really good in that game. And uh, you know, I just tried to keep that confidence once I got sent down, and uh, just tried to do the best I could down there. It was good getting in some games, and uh, you know, even just practicing today, I feel like I fit right in, and no, no, uh, no real issues.